I am dwelling in the secret place of the Most High. I abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And I will say of the Lord, You are my refuge and my fortress, my God in you will I trust. I had to sing that, or at least attempt to, because this was one of the most craziest confirmations I've ever gotten. I have saw a whole bunch of stuff this morning, you guys, and I want to share it, but I needed confirmation. I asked for confirmation. I said, Father, please confirm with me that what I'm seeing is true. And I went to this search and I searched out random Bible verse. And that's what it said, random Bible verse. So I click it. And that's what it gives me. Psalm 91.1. And this verse, this is one of the only verses that I pretty much have ever memorized. I mean, at least it was like one of the first. And it's stuck in my head. Uh, even before I knew Christ. Through that song that I learned long ago. Isn't that awesome? Doesn't God work just like crazy? I tell you folks, those of you who don't know him, you have no idea what you're missing. Anyway, I was led today to Dodgers Stadium for so many reasons I don't know where to start. But, nonetheless, first thing I want to make clear to everybody is when you look at a baseball diamond, you have to understand this, that you are looking at a vain show, a, a representation of a spirit, of a, a basic species, if you will, that operates on Earth in the dark. This is the perfect representation of the Masonic Compass and Squares, which in and of itself is a symbol. It's a very powerful symbol, and it means a lot of things. And I've done things before in regards to the Compass and Squares, but one thing about the Compass and Squares is that you must have a 90-degree compass. I mean square, obviously, right? And your compass is set to 45 degrees. That's a perfect compass and square. And that's what a baseball field is. Okay? That's just what it is. The most plentiful, bountiful uh, representation of Lucifer anywhere in the country is a baseball field. Because you'll find them in every single town virtually in the world. But absolutely in this country. With the nine players, the 90 feet, the six, 60 feet, 6 inches, and the compass and squares. And when you have a compass and square, in order for it to be perfect, it, like I said, it has to have 90 degree square, 45 degree compass, and that winds up with these, these middle angles being 66 degrees. And the reason that's important is because I was once, again, led to the maps. And I have done plenty of things with the maps, even in L.A. Actually, I've done several things with the maps in L.A. But this time is different, and I'm going to explain to you why. I've shown uh, a couple of different compass and square configurations in Los Angeles um, using various monuments and landmarks to to work from you know what I mean so if we go down to the Los Angeles Stadium you have to bear with me there is a lot I got going on here friends but we go down to Dodger Stadium I want you to look at at this stadium don't forget when I show you these things and this is what we're looking at when you look at these monuments these grand structures these arches and 
you know, just marvelous buildings and architecture. That is a signature. 99% of the time, you're going to find a direct signature of Lucifer, of the Masonic order of things. And this encompasses a great many societies and various aspects of culture. It's, it's very deep. It's very, very deep in this world. But what I want to point out to you here at Dodger Stadium, we have ourselves a scarab. And, and that is quite literally what it is. They, for those of you who don't know, are very, very highly regarded in the ancient Egyptian culture and belief system. The scarab. Now, I want to find a scarab for you here because I know I got some in my little trusty... Here we go. Oh, we even got one in the I pet goat there. I forgot about him. This video might be a little long, folks. Just saying. That's your scarab right there. Okay? Represents Ra, Osiris. Represents, um, resurrection. Their god who pushes the sun across the sky. That's what that represents. Right there. Dodgers Stadium. Okay? And I've shown you the compass and squares I've used other landmarks for before. But the difference with this, folks, is number one, the confirmations that I've gotten. That I'm actually seeing what I'm seeing and sharing it with you because I feel a, a slight sense of urgency here. But nonetheless, the, the knowledge is just fantastical. I can't deny it. So, building from our scarab, Dodger Stadium, we need to establish our compass and square in the proper order. And previous videos I have shared with you, and it's important that I revisit these because you have to get this into your mind to understand the depths of what I'm showing you. You're looking at a dead sheep. That's what it is. I have done my best to put little eyes and ears and a tongue on it. Uh, I hope that it, uh, that you could see it. There's his ear. Okay. That's his eye. And there's his tongue sticking out. And here's a serpent under the dead sheep. That's what it is. If you don't think so, then you're not going to understand anything I'm talking about. Over here we have some oil rigs right out here off of Huntington Beach now let me get rid of some of these lines for you down here we have a set of oil rigs out in the ocean sitting off of Huntington Beach California in Long Beach which incidentally is one of the busiest uh, commerce hubs in the world and out here we have an island called Catalina Island. Uh, some months ago, back in April, I was shown an image. And this is it. I've gone over this before, but just to give you an idea, this was pasted on Drudge Report, front page and center, for a day. That is a very significant day, but that's not what this video is about. I want to just illustrate to you this image and why it was put where it was, when it was. There was a king over them. Do you see the king? There's his eye, his eye. That's his crown. It's his face. Do you see him? Because it's important that you understand what we're dealing with. This is not just a joke of men with uh, Photoshop doing these things, making demons out of clouds. And notice, please, the wishbone cloud. And I won't go back to this any longer. Out here on Catalina Island, there's an area. Please look it up for yourself. It's known as wishbone. If we place our... Uh, perspective over here with wishbone off to the right of the oil fields 
that would put our nuclear explosion right here off of Huntington Beach and off of Long Beach looking out towards Catalina Island okay because the oil fields play key to this so beginning at our scarab Mason a uh, Masonic Stadium here we go out to the oil rigs and again please bear with me because I have a lot of lines and things here bear with me oh it's right here now notice I go right from the pitcher's mound and that takes us right out uh, and see now Google Maps is hanging up again I have to show you this so please bear with me it takes us right out to our oil platforms 33 miles that's what that is and uh, from our platforms to our sheep dead sheep down there is also 33 miles right down to our dead sheep what's important here for this to be as relevant as it is is this angle has to be 45 degrees both lines are 33 miles when we're dealing with the scale of the earth and remember what I'm showing you this is Satan's etch-a-sketch the earth his longitude and latitude lines are his vain show on earth it's all gods but he takes it turns it upside down and uses it for his dark secret agendas which is to make you a dead sheep you understand you can put an instrument on your screen if you like to prove out that that's 45 degrees but that's what it is so this line here will basically dictate where our 66 degrees because this this angle has to be 66 degrees and the bottom angle has to be 90 degrees so if I deduce the 66 degrees off of our sheep or off of our stadium which I can do just based on the uh, degree of angle that I get when I do a line if if you understand what I'm saying when I draw a line you can see the degree of angle here okay that's how I deduce that it's 66 degrees so that's what I do the lengths of these lines are also significant but only in the sense of another message that doesn't I'm not going to include that here this will take way too long we have perfect 66 degrees and a perfect 90 degrees now now we have the perfect Masonic compass and square at our point where it meets folks you can't make this stuff up why do you think I was singing we have a baseball field right to home play right to the pitcher's mound but if you want more confirmation this baseball field is located at what's called the west gate of a town a town called Bel Air okay if you don't know what Bel Air means you'll need to look it up I cannot take the time to do that right now but it's extremely significant so there you have it this was the one major thing that I needed to show is it a warning I'm saying yes does it relate to the World Series I don't know I just don't I, I can only share what I know for a fact does not come from me that there is truth in everything that I'm showing you particularly Satan's vain show that's what that is folks I don't know any other way to describe it and it's telling me a story of dead sheep and serpents definitely Masonic roots Egyptian even that's where it all derives from please do your studying I I really 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 insist you do study on these things I'm gonna put as many links as I can but this is representing Osiris Ra the scarab 
you're going to make of it what you will. But from my perspective, from what I've been shown and what I understand and what I'm conveying to you is that Satan is real. Satan is proliferating and manifesting at a rate that no one can deny at this point. And these events will come. This I know. I do not know when. All I know is that you need to turn from this darkness. You can escape it. You just can. Only Jesus can save you from it. It's just that simple, folks. But that's what I have to share with you for today. I, I hate leaving it like that because, I mean, I don't know what exactly is going to happen or when. I just know that you need to seek Jesus. First and foremost, above all else. What do you have to lose? Peace and grace to you, many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 